This is Solar in six steps. Step one, thirds and sevens in the right hand, bass notes in the left hand. Start with C minor, G minor, So do this in the reverse positions. Okay, then we're going to do thirds and sevens in the left hand, melody in the right hand. I think I like the second positions better. So I did have a little bit of clashing there. Let's try it with the opposite positions of the thirds and sevens. this clashing here. Okay, so yeah, with this clashing, you can either uh, bring the melody up an octave, not play the chords at all if you're playing the melody, but we don't want to do, we don't want to get that low with our thirds and sevenths, okay? Step number three, full rootless voicings in the right hand with bass notes in the left hand. So we'll do these. And then the other position. Okay, now Let's see, we are in the key of C minor, even though it's modulating a lot. And I'm not sure about this nine, this A natural, especially because the melody is a B flat. So I might avoid this nine here and just play a G instead. And also do that on the C7. the melody with the full rootless voicings in the left hand. Now one thing to keep in mind also is that on this particular song Solar, the first chord C minor is oftentimes, if not always, played as a C minor major 7 chord. Uh, and that would just be a C minor chord where you just put a major 7 in it. that I think has to do with the melody having a B natural in it as well. Now I don't mind the A in the G minor chord when it's in this position, but it, when it's on top, it's going to be different. So here I'm, I am playing the A. is I jump up right here. Or, okay, that's how I usually play the tune. And there you go. That's step number four. And now we have our solo piano approaches. Step number five, solo piano approach number one. Bass note, rootless voicing in the left hand, melody here. So... Actually, 
but so I'll take it from the E flat again. Okay, so this is a good song to show an example of. You can use this bass and left left hand bass and rootless chord approach when you have enough time. But when chords are going by very fast, this is when we want to just kind of find a way to just play the chord one time with the left hand without having to do two things, especially on the E flat minor, A flat seven, D flat part. Uh, and then that takes us, so for example, if I'm playing solar with a pro solo piano approach number one, I might do something more like this. up a few different ideas there based on what's happening in the song and then finally step number six we're gonna build it uh, one note at a time we got the melody then we got the melody with just the root that's straightforward let's do one with melody and root and seventh keeping in mind we're playing a C minor major seven it's gonna have a major seven so on this particular song, but we're just going through the steps of doing this exercise. So let's just do it. So this building note by note approach generally works better with medium to slower songs. Solar is pretty up tempo song, so we're gonna we're gonna be using probably more of the one you know playing the chord with with the left hand and getting it with one motion. Um, another thing I'll throw in there for this particular song that I like to do, if you can reach it in your left hand, is to play things like tenths. You know, so if I'm playing this, first of all, the first chord C minor, major seven, because of where it lit, where it sits, I can just do that. I don't have to worry about opening up this chord because it's in a perfect spot where it sounds fine. So. there of how you could play it in a solo piano style. 